Strice that we've been working on, I'm not going to discuss it too much because we should have followed it in lesson, but just to give you the shape and form. From the offering and a two can two situation, so we've discussed all the elements about this, and so now within this zone here, I'm now going to go for an outside attack line. So I follow it in and I go through with this one. Okay? So once again, it's just the same as what you were drilling with the Pana 2 can drill. We're just slipping through now to go for an outside position, an outside attack. Changes if I want to go to an inside attack. It's a little bit elaborate so that we get a little bit of contact skills, passing and parrying with our hands. The same start position, Pana 2 can 2. So from here now I'm going to switch, I'm going to roll inside and check away, and now I'm on the inside. So I've stopped him here, come inside, I roll through, clear it, and I hit. So there's probably, what, four techniques. One, two, three, four, and then my strike on the fifth. Okay. And then finally, from this position now, we're just in. So for... My way of teaching it, I consider this to be like a snake form. Because the snake on the top of the water or the surface never dips itself into the surface, it remains on the top. Okay. So the same principle here, I'm remaining on the top. Not to be confused with the crane possibilities where the form is different because the movement would be about dipping fingers in. This is different. Not about monkey, which is receiving with the wrist. This is just stepping, uh, skipping sc stones on the water, or as I was given the analogy or the pictures, just basically snake on the water. You look how it moves on the water, it just stays on the top surface. So this would be my direct line in. Again, sorry, drawing without movement from my elbow. Same principle here, no lifting of elbow. Just come through here, elbows are nice and compact in my body my outside line as well. Excellent. Give those a try.